Hey guys, I am super excited to give you this little Money Leaks walkthrough training. Um, when you receive or when you open your PDF, it's going to look like this. Now, I have made it so that you can fill out the, uh, there are only four fields for you to fill out, um, but I've made it so that you can do that easily within Adobe um, Acrobat. Uh, I'm sure there are some other programs that you can do this with or uh, you can print it yourself. So uh, it's actually um, the important part is on page three. So I'm going to talk you through these different things. Uh, so these are actually the only money categories that you need. So number one, it saves money. Number two, it saves time. Number three, it makes money. And number four, it doesn't. And there's a little caveat to number four, and that is it might fall into category one, two, or three. Uh, however, you are not using it. So uh, to demonstrate, I'm actually going to walk you through. I just kind of jotted down a quick note with um, the last couple, uh, or the last month's uh, expenses for me, business expenses. Um, and I'm going to walk you through why I am categorizing them the way that I am, uh, as well as a couple other more like frequently asked ones that I get. So uh, first things first, it saves money. Uh, so I, um, I put buffer in both one and two. Uh, so it saves me money because I actually hire a virtual assistant um, to do my social media when I do it. I'm terribly uh, out of practice on it right now. Um, but if I was using it, it would go here and it saves money It's or uh, and then as well as it saves time. Um, so with having my VA do it, um, it used to be that I, before scheduling existed for Instagram, I had to pay someone to log in a couple times a day and, you know, post these pictures. Um, and that was definitely costing me because it was something that they had to do. Um, it also obviously saves time because you're able to batch things and hopefully you know this, uh, but when you batch things, your brain is staying on one track. Uh, for a longer period of time and it's able to focus and it creates um, greater productivity for you. So um, definitely something um, that I would put. And by the way, uh, you know, Buffer, Hootsuite, Co-Schedule, uh, Planoly, uh, Tailwind, any of those social media schedulers um, are perfect to put um, right here. Now, unfortunately, as I mentioned, um, I am not good about using this. Right now, I do not have someone who is doing this for me. Um, so I would actually have to put this expense in category four for myself. Um, another one, and this is, ooh, this is another one that actually um, goes here and here, Calendly. Um, and of course, there's uh, schedule once, uh, Acuity, all those different ones that, you know, do the same thing. Um, and again, um, so they were saving me, uh, it saved me money because again, I was having my assistant do like session scheduling and consultation scheduling. And now, you know, very easily I'm able to have clients just click on a link. Um, even if I want to do like a quick one-off thing or mini sessions or whatever, so easy to do. Now, actually, um, it is Friday, November 23rd, uh, about three days ago, four days ago, um, Dubsado, uh, released their scheduler and because I am a Dubsado user and that is definitely going to go into again, full of these categories. Um, I actually will be, once I get everything all set up and assuming I can figure it out or really more of my assistant can figure it out, um, we will be scheduling or canceling Calendly because um, it just doesn't make sense to pay for something that is duplicated here. All right, moving on. So another thing um, that I, uh, one of my favorite things to pay for actually, um, is show it and show it, uh, saves me time because I'm able to make changes to my website myself. 
um, with drop and drag technology, drag and drop. I can't remember which way it is. Um, but I, uh, so show it saves me a ton of time in that respect. I don't have to pay anyone to, uh, go in and change my photos out. It actually, um, well, I guess I wouldn't say it saves me money. Well, yeah, sure it does. It saves me money because um, I am not having to pay someone like a developer and there's no way by the way guys like there's no way even I'm like fairly tech savvy but there's no way that I could do um, a WordPress based website on my own without having to pay someone to do it now I will tell you um, I'm at the tail end of working with just an incredible designer to launch my new photo business um, and brand so I did pay someone uh, however it's like significantly less than I would have to pay for WordPress just because it's way less time intensive um, and it, I think it's way more beautiful so uh, and then of course another thing that you want to take into consideration um, is hosting for your website um, email uh, like we use Gmail for all of my businesses um, those are some things that um, you will want to uh, to take into account and having a website that makes you money uh, having email that's an essential tool for making money as a photographer so definitely make sure that you are counting those things for yourself uh, let's see here what is next on my list okay here's a good one so um, this one is, it's kind of tricky to actually put this into a category, and I've seen people who initially don't put it in at all, um, but I'm super passionate about it, and it is outsourcing your editing. Um, and then I also mentioned that I have a virtual assistant, um, and so I'm going to actually put outsourcing uh, first in, obviously, this it makes money. Uh, now, why does it make money is a great question. Uh, I'm sure you're asking that. I do go way into depth in this in Profit Booster, but the short version is that uh, it is... When you leave, so I pay maybe, uh, let's say, on the high side, uh, let's say I pay $50 for my editor to, um, to do a session. Um, my hourly rate is significantly higher. It, it only takes me about an hour to edit a session, um, but my hourly rate is significantly higher and um, in Profit Booster I do go over how to calculate your hourly rate and all of that um, but for all intents and purposes I can't really go over that here um, but just know uh, so outsourcing editing um, and admin stuff so like um, my admin does um, like contract and invoice sending follow up on those things um, you know, anything that, that can't be automated in a Dubsado workflow pretty much, um, or that needs like an actual, like hands on eyes on, um, she manages my inbox because I'm crazy, not disorganized, but, uh, I, I like read something and go, oh yeah, I'm totally going to respond to that. And then I never do unless she puts it right in front of me and says, right now you're going to sit down and answer this email. Um, so for me, um, hiring those things out has allowed me to take on more actual shooting work and shooting work is, of course, when you are a photographer, that is actually what brings the money in. So, uh, don't fool yourself. That is an absolute money making, uh, thing. Now, of course it also saves time. Um, so there is that I'm going to actually put it in here and there's a balance to this. Again, I cover that in profit booster, but um, we, we really can't go over that now. So, uh, my next thing that I love to talk about is CloudSpot and CloudSpot. Uh, whoo, CloudSpot goes in so many categories. So CloudSpot makes me money. It also saves me money. It's like a great deal. Uh, if you guys don't know what CloudSpot is, it's, um, like an alternative to Pixie Set. Um, so one of the reasons why I listed CloudSpot here and it saves money is it's way less expensive than what I was using before. Um, I know it's significantly less expensive than Pixie Set. Uh, let's see here. Um, it, 
I mean, I think it's incredibly fast. I will say um, it does save money in just how easily we're able to um, to send clients their, I'm sorry, not clients, but vendors their photos. Um, it takes way less time to do in CloudSpot than it did in um, not just what I used before, but the several other things that I tried out. Um, obviously, it saves it saves time um, because the sending the uh, the photo sending to vendor part that's also done by by my admin. Um, that is part of the it saves time um, thing. Uh, let's see here. Um, and then it makes money uh, because I've actually been able to monetize my galleries and um, have really had a lot of success with that. So, um, yeah, super excited. I, I, I'm crazy obsessed with CloudSpot. I've tried everything and this is like the only thing that I, that I talk about. It's amazing. There are lots of things that I'll tell you like alternatives, like up here, you know, Buffer, Hootsuite, Co-Schedule, Planel, Planely, uh, Tailwind, all of those, Calendly. I don't feel like super married to any of these things, but, um, and you know, even with Dubsado, I love Dubsado, but Pixify, um, Shoot Q is another one. Um, what else? I'm trying to think. Oh, like HoneyBook. I can't remember what else, but you know, all of those studio management software systems or CRMs um, that you can customize to your business, have workflows, etc. That's all super, oh, 17 hats is another one I know. 17 hats, you got, you get the idea. Okay, um, another one I'm just going to quickly cover is Canva, um, and that is uh, one that saves me money big time um, because before I was either trying to do graphics myself uh, which meant that I was paying for InDesign and um, uh, Adobe Illustrator um, and those are fairly expensive compared to the Canva monthly um, and then also um, if I if it was something that was beyond my expertise I was actually uh, hiring freelancers to do it, which is obviously a lot more expensive. Uh, now I'm pretty much able to do most things myself um, or when I need to on occasion outsource something, um, I do. So, um, and that, that would obviously also go into um, it saving time. All right, um, Photoshop and Lightroom. Now these are essential tools uh, for your business and of course you're probably only paying $9.99 a month for them um, and I you know I would argue like Lightroom is a time saver compared to Photoshop probably most of you uh, were not photographers when there was no Lightroom I remember those days it was terrible let us never speak of them um, but this is an essential tool it's definitely gonna go into your it makes money category um, now, uh, Backblaze is one that I use and it is a money saver. So Backblaze, um, other people I know use Crash Plan. Um, there are some similar things. These are the two big ones that I've seen out there. Um, and this backs up your hard drives and um, just ensures that um, you don't have to stress pretty much about losing your photos. And I have a whole system designed around never losing a photo um, and it is crazy expensive to have to replace a card or to give uh, clients money back because you lost you know some of their photos from their wedding day or whatever so Backblaze um, is to me uh, I think it's five dollars a month and it is like insanely necessary I should put numbers next to all of these things Think Canva is twelve. It's not like not totally sure. Um, I do not know what the current rate for unlimited is for CloudSpot, but it is again. It's November twenty third. Today's Black Friday. I know this weekend they're doing this crazy uh, five dollars. Oops, uh, five dollars for five. Five dollars a month, I think it is a month for five months, and uh, free photo migration. So there's that. 
Uh, okay, let's see here. Show it is, uh, it kind of depends on the thing. It's like 29 maybe. Um, Dubsado I think is 25. I think this is going to depend on your plan, but let's just say it's 9-ish, I want to say. And I think this is 10. Anyway. Um, okay, what else is on my list? Okay, PPA. Ooh, this is such an important one. If you don't know about this, um, professional, oops, professional photographers of America, uh, also known as PPA, and I think it's about $35 a month. I know I got a special at WPPI this year. Um, so anyway, it is, um, I, they saved me a ton of money this, uh, not actually this year, I think it was last year. Um, they saved me a ton of money when I had um, something go wrong with one of my associates um, who did not fulfill something that we were contractually um, obligated to do. And uh, we would have needed to refund the client $2,000. Uh, so they have uh, like a fund for this um, and that is, uh, and so we actually only had to pay $500 out of pocket um, and then pay the 1000 or the, the 1500 came out of this PPA fund. Um, another great thing is that they actually, PPA comes with some gear insurance. Um, I, I have additional gear insurance so I cannot remember um, what all of the numbers are in, in regards to this but um, I know that this would be totally sufficient if you are not running a multi photographer studio um, if you're not shooting you know 50 events a year um, or you know 200 sessions or whatever um, I would say for most people the insurance um, offered by PPA is more than sufficient and it actually comes with your membership and there are tons of other benefits um, so definitely to me it is an absolute necessity um, and speaking of insurance make sure that you have liability insurance um, and also and gear insurance um, if you need additional on top of PPA um, and again this goes into the saving money I think now mine is going to be more expensive than most people's because of where I live and I'm operating a full studio um, so it's uh, I think mine is about 650 a year um, hopefully yours is less but uh, whatever it is, it's worth it. Um, I, again, had an incident. Actually, I think this one was this year where we damaged a product in studio that we were photographing. And uh, it would have been, it was almost $1,300. I think it was $1,280 um, to replace it. That had, That's money that had to come straight out of our profits. Um, and fortunately, we were able to um, get that covered by insurance with, again, a $500 deductible. So sure, um, you know, it doesn't seem like there's a huge difference between $500 and $1,300. Uh, however, we're, we're here to be profitable and $700, $780 um, um, is a significant enough amount that I wouldn't want anyone to flush that away. All right, now here is one of the big ones that I get tons of questions about, and that is equipment. Um, so everyone wants to put their equipment in the it makes money, I absolutely need it uh, box. And let me tell you, if your camera body is going out, uh, like a couple years ago, mine was, um, I replaced my D700 with a D750 for about $2,000 and that was an absolutely necessary purchase because I think I had like 500 actuations, uh, sorry, 500,000 actuations on my D700. I had shot it until like it was like literally like peeling apart. Like it was just like, it was a wonderful camera. It served me well. I loved it. Um, it traveled to a bunch of places with me. Um, but I really needed to replace that camera. Now, um, at the same time, uh, one thing that I did, a uh, purchase that I made in, I want to say 2012, um, was that I bought myself a 35 millimeter. Obviously, I, I, I shoot 
uh, Nikon. So I bought the best 35 millimeter that I could, the uh, 1.4G, and it's a beautiful lens. I absolutely love this lens, um, but it actually that lens does not make me money. Um, in fact, um, one thing to add up here is renting gear. Uh, renting gear makes me money. Rent your gear until you know that you love it and then save up for it. And I go over the math on kind of the breaking point on this uh, in Profit Booster, but just know that there's no shame in renting gear. I've got a friend who's been in business almost as long as I have. I, I think he's been in business for 11 or so years. Um, and he actually still rents gear to this day. He's got um, not the newest camera. I think he's got a 5D Mark III. Um, sometimes he rents a newer one, sometimes not, but he rents most of his lenses and I guarantee you he's more profitable than, uh, than most photographers out there. Um, something that you obviously, another thing you obviously do need would be cards. Um, now that speed light that you need for your wedding receptions, totally necessary. Uh, not necessary, so lenses go in here. Lenses do not make you more money, guys. Um, but like a modifier does not make you more money. I'm going to come back to this. It doesn't column, uh, but this is important. So, um, a couple other things that I think are super important, um, would be like a coach, maybe a mastermind group. I'm a part of, I have both of these things, um, conferences, workshops now please know not all workshops not all conferences not even all mastermind groups or coaches are worth your time you need to make sure that you're going to get the value out of them and honestly i would say my general rule of thumb is a 10 times roi uh that's return on investment so if i pay three thousand dollars for a workshop I need to know that it is going to, in the long term, and let's just say over five years, that it's going to make me $30,000 back, that, that it's going to deliver $30,000 worth of value. Does that have to mean that I'm booking $30,000 worth of weddings? No, but what if I learn uh, you know, a money-saving tip, um, a tip for marketing, a you know, whatever, great. Um, but a lot of people, they're going to these shooting workshops um, and they're just doing it as portfolio boosters. Um, and I, I understand that we all want beautiful photos, but but I know some shit photographers, guys, who are making good money because they care about their business and they work on their business. Now, I'm not encouraging you to be a terrible photographer, uh, but I am encouraging you to spend more time working on your business um, and more money invested on the business side than on the shooting side. I think I mentioned this somewhere, um, but those fab Lightroom presets, please do not get me started. Now, it can save you time. It can Lightroom presets can save you time. But when you are uh, buying every Visco pack and all the Mastin ones, and uh, don't get me wrong, I love the Develop presets. I mean, I admire a lot of those photographers. Um, but if you're just buying all of these and, and not, you know, just buying them for the sake of buying them and having them and playing with them and maybe your look changes every, you know, year to two years, sorry, stop. I don't love the look that I have for my photos anymore. I personally would shoot in a very different way, but this is the look that we have cultivated. Uh, I've trained all of my associates on it. We're training our seconds on it, our assistants on it, and it is the look that people expect from us over a long period of time. My editor knows how to do it. It saves it saves time all around. This is, we do our one way. Guess what? You do not need more Lightroom presets. Okay, I will step down off my soapbox. Um, but I did not elaborate on this one as much as I wanted the uh, coach mastermind um, conferences, workshops. I just got back from United Conference um, a couple weeks ago, and United is one of those conferences that I absolutely feel delivers way more than the value um, that you pay for it. Um, not only in 
and, and this is actually true. So the first United Conference that I went to was in 2013 in Santa Barbara. And while the knowledge that I got was absolutely irreplaceable in my business, um, the actual friendships and relationships that I built um, at that conference, um, you know, honestly, for the next like three or four years of conference going, um, absolutely changed my life and my business. And so any value or any money that I put into them, I, I definitely got my ROI on that. Um, I have just so much benefited from the input. Um, honestly, this like mastermind group Group is um, that I'm in is a result of uh, relationships that I made at conferences. Um, so you really do have to be careful. I have had a couple different coaches, and I have to say, um, coaching is to me one of the best investments. Honestly, all of these uh, these are investments that you are making in yourself and in your business, um, and and I. I really think that this is something that you should budget for um, to have a, an annual and you know it might be um, like courses or um, group coaching it could be all kinds of different things um, oh those uh, what are they called the like live uh, like event days online I can't remember um, oh like yeah, I'm just going to give up, but it's like a live conference sort of thing. Anyway, those those are the kinds of things that I would highly recommend you invest in, um, even if it's not a ton. Um, there's a workshop that I'm going to go to next year that um, it costs 10k, and uh, and that's far from the only education that I'm doing next year. Um, and I would guess that I personally have spent maybe 120k um, over the course of my photography career, well, entrepreneur career, um, in just bettering myself and my business. And so I, I know I'm harping on this, but, um, but this is one of the best investments that you can make. Um, even if it's just, um, I have, I also have an accountability, a business accountability partner, um, who just like, we meet once a week, and uh, just help hold each other to our goals and achieving them. Um, and so that's super important. Uh, I, I do have a couple more things on my list, but I think this is pretty exhaustive. I think I've, I've gone over everything and said everything that I need to say. Um, the most important thing, guys, is um, once you finish your list, you really need to go here and cancel any subscriptions uh, that you have. So, like, I really need to end uh, my Buffer subscription as soon as I stop recording this. Um, feeling very, uh, well, I got to call myself out, which I actually really like to do. I like that kind of uh, high accountability. Um, I and, and one more quick note about all of these things. I'm not saying that everything has to fall into boxes one, two, or three forever. Um, because I absolutely do make these purchases uh, later on, or, or, like I made them later on. I have a ton of um, MagMod stuff. Um, I have some we use in our headshots. Um, these beautiful, ginormous octoboxes. Um, obviously, I have nice lenses, um, and my associates, you know, are using like really good gear, and very few of them are renting. Um, I don't think I really have purchased an excessive amount, or even maybe any Lightroom presets. But um, but you you are allowed to go buy fun things um, when when it's necessary. And, and you know, there is one other category that I can think of um, that doesn't really fall in here. I'm going to put it in the it makes money. Um, if you need like a money maker, a spider, oops, spider, oh, I can't spell guys, spider holster, um, there's a peak design clip, I don't know, I don't know what it's called, um, but if you need something like that, um, that's going to save your body because um, we ha we really need to take care of our bodies. Um, really good wedding shoes if you are a wedding photographer. Um, I when I was shooting, uh, you know, like thirty 
to 50 weddings a year. Um, I would spend up to $200 on a pair of really great shoes um, that had, you know, good insoles and everything. Um, those are things that, like, we have to do because our bodies are are important for making money and that we have to be in top physical condition. Um, not that I would recommend that you use this as an excuse, but um, you can also go to the chiropractor or have like a massage um, like membership kind of thing. Um, those are good things that where if that's going to help keep your body in the condition that it needs to be in for you to shoot however much you are shooting. Um, I know usually around this time of year we're shooting, um, not we, sorry, I specifically will shoot about 200 sessions over the course of three months. And, um, and I have like weekly, uh, massage and Cairo appointments because of that. So, um, yeah, so it's, I'm not saying no fun forever guys, but, um, it is really important that, uh, you are, um, that you're watching your spending. So that is pretty much it for this training and I hope to see you in Profit Booster.